right, guys, let's try to chunk down all these licks I played in this Mixolydian improvisations. Let's start with the first lick, which is um, a hybrid picking arpeggio. It's an E7 dominant. Okay. And it's played with a technique with hybrid picking. So pick and right hand fingers. And the figure is like this. And the pattern is like this. So it's like you pick the first note and you hammer the second one. And then you go mid and ring. And you hammer the next E. So it's like. Same thing starting from string number four, same pattern. You pick the first note and you hammer the second. And then you go with mid and ring finger. Okay, so. And then we have this hybrid picking pentatonic, which is... I use this combination of picking and fingering. I don't know if fingering is the correct word, maybe it's not. Okay, so we alternate this. Pick and mid finger, so... And then it's all legato, so... Okay, and the second part of the pentatonic is kind of the same pattern. It's just with a mini sweep picking. So it's down, down. It's kind of the same of the hybrid picking. But this time it's all picked. So it's like. Instead of using the hybrid picking, we just pick down, down. Why this distinction between the two patterns? Because I want to have a different tone, right? So with hybrid picking, we have a slightly lighter tone, more fluid sound. By picking, we have this more percussive sound. Okay, so we use this difference. And then we have um, a legato arpeggio, like, with a final tapping with bending. I always play these legato arpeggios using this technique of uh, not picking at all and just using my strength, my strength of my fingers. So, If you want to check this technique out, uh, I've made a video a few months ago where I explain how I play the Moonlight Sonata tapping, the Beethoven Moonlight Sonata tapping, you know, my most famous video. So if you want to check this video out, it's up here. Yeah. All right. So we have this legato arpeggio. It's still an E7 dominant. Then we have this final tapping. We play the D note on fret 22 with tapping and then we bend the, the note. 
And I play the bending using the strength of both hands. I don't just bend with the tapping because it would be, you know, too heavy. So I use both hands to perform this bending. All right. And then we have this bluesy pentatonic sound. This is quite an old style lick, like from the 70s, maybe. And then I use this mixolydian pentatonic, which is just a regular pentatonic, like minor pentatonic with a, with a major third. So instead of having the natural minor pentatonic, I just play the major third and I get this mixolydian sound. So major, but with a minor seven. And I have this lick. involves triplets with this mixolydian pentatonic sound okay and the next lick involves some chromatic notes which I use to make the mixolydian scale more interesting right so instead of using only the notes of the scale I add some more notes, like minor third, so... And the flat five. And I use both these notes to color this pentatonic. So I have... this kind of different color, right? This is the regular pentatonic. And this is with chromatic notes. Okay, just slightly different, but more interesting. All right, and then we have this tremolo bar dive bomb, which is kind of self-explanatory. You just, you know, put your tremolo bar down. And we have these natural harmonics, which are played with the tremolo bar. And I play them like this. I put, I punch the tremolo bar down. I pick the note with my left hand and then tap the harmonic. So I... Very 80s. <laughs> okay. Right. And then we have this lick with pre-bend and tapping so I bend the note a whole tone bending and then I tap this higher E note but since I've already bent the note a full whole tone I have to tap where the D is to get an E sound right Then we have this kind of tremolo bar effect. And 
this flutter sound, which I obtain by just, you know, hitting the tremolo bar and let it flutter. Not like this. Okay, so you have this, you know, firm sound, stable sound. You have to hit it hard and let it flutter. Instead of... Right, this is gentle. And this is hard. All right, and then we have this pattern with slight notes and the mixolydian scales but every note is slightly um, pinched with harmonics so so it's kind of natural slide but I make artificial harmonics for every note so Okay, next lick is this um, uh, picking pattern, which is down, down, up. So mini sweep, down, 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 like this, and up. And then you have um, a pull off. So four notes, one, two, three, four, four sixteenth notes in one beat. And you have down, down, up. So mind this pattern, down, down, up. Let's chunk this down for a little bit. Mini sweep, down, down. And then the third note is an upstroke. So. And the fourth note is a pull off. So one, two, three, four. Down, down, up, pull off. Down, down, up. Okay, like this. You can practice this over uh, every chord, every pattern, right? <laughs> down, down, up, and legato. Okay. Then we have this uh, open string legato. <laughs> try to mute all the strings I don't use with my palm and with my mid finger so the E note doesn't play like. and I get this clean tone right Then we have another pattern, which is a four note per string pattern. And it's a symmetrical pattern. That means it's the same kind of fingering for two strings. For example, on the first two strings is seven, nine, 10, 12. Okay, and it's the same for the first string and the second. So. Then you go down two frets and you have the same symmetrical pattern. Down again. Actually, it's three frets. So, first two strings, three frets down, two frets down. Same pattern, right? Okay, 
and we have this alternate picking lick which involves triplets so uh, three notes well actually it's six notes per beat so one two three one two three one two three one two three <laughs> Just a simple pattern, all picked. So. And then right after that, we have an economy picking pattern. So different kind of picking, different kind of guitar tone, different kind of feeling, different kind of sound. It's still picked, but the economy picking involving this mini sweeps pattern, down, down, or up, up, has this more bubbly sound, more fluid sound, right? So, for example. Down, up, down, down. Then up, up. but it has a more fluid, more bubbly sound, right? <laughs> All right, and then we have, um, again, another legato arpeggio, which I play using only my finger strength. So... Same reference to that old video to, you know, know how to play this licks. All right. And then at the end of the song or the improvisation, we have this multi-finger tapping, which is a weird pattern. It sounds like four notes per beat. Like But it's actually six notes per beat. So double triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's like first six notes. Right? And you just go on with the pattern. is an, just a follow-up of this lick. We just have different notes. So tapping on two different strings and legato and hammer-ons on different strings. So. it for today and for this ensemble of licks. See you next time. Yeah!